right, hello. Let's try and remember where we were. Uh, right, fix the NSC energy converters. Uh, and where are the energy converters? I guess they're over here. Okay. Oh, hello, we seem to be maxed out on the CPU. Okay. That's, uh... And on the GPU memory. Okay, that's uh, a little bit worrying. Huh. We'll see how this runs. Uh, this uh, might be a trouble-ridden stream. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to cross our fingers, I guess. Perfect. No, not perfect. What do you mean, what? What? What, what? What, what, what? Oh! Kukuro? Yeah, okay. Kukuro, yeah. How about that? Uh, so that's something that I was... Um, Yeah, I was uh, playing around with. Let's uh, let's see if I can turn that on here. Oh, hey, yeah, cool. So you might have to make the screen full size there uh, to read that. Uh, but yeah, so Saf, you have the word scramble. Um, this is uh, testing out a game that people can play in the chat. Anything else? Okay, I guess I will go over here. Yeah, I know, it's small. Um, yeah, I didn't think it would work very well right there. So, yeah, hence why I uh, didn't have it turned on. Because <coughs> it's great if I, um, you know, have, uh, you know, one of the Be Right Back screens up or something. For example, like this. But yeah, down here, it is a little bit on the small side, so um, I may just uh, turn it off for the time being uh, and uh, mess around with it later on. Oh. We need to fix this thing ASAP. Do I, uh, oh.
Okay. And another control point here. Launch efficiency. Personal mod. Alright. What is the launch efficiency mod? Pickup, energy recovery speed, energy boost, dodge efficiency. Oh, right, I can dodge too. Oh, launch energy crossed. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's, uh. Actually, let's not deconstruct that. We might, uh. Might have a use for that later on. We'll see. Hmm. And I'm guessing that if I go in here... I will get hurt, right? Yes. Maybe? Uh, at least close to hurt. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Cool. Fine. I guess I just won't go there then. And then okay. So there's a power thing there. Other places I need to throw power things? Up here anywhere? No, no, no. Do I need to put a power thing somewhere in there? Well, not that I can see. Right up. You need to fix it before the old thick pants inside the plant has a shit fit. Yeah. still shatter. Alright. Let's change that so I can do something with that guy. Hello? Okay. Maybe that's a little too far away. Sniping. What's discounted for Toptober? Ah, glad you asked, Seth. Uh, what is discounted? I believe the uh, rave has been discounted. Uh, the uh, interlude item has been discounted. The lifts have been discounted. Uh, and the oh, oh my goodness, no, thank you. Uh, and the um. To be or not to be has been discounted. Oh, ow, okay. I did not like that. You gonna fire another rocket at me? Huh? Go ahead, try it. There we go. Yeah, 
<laughs> What's the logic? Stream topping me? Exactly. Yes. It's Toptober or... I mean, I guess you could get me to top you somehow. I, I tried to think about how to do that, but uh, didn't really come up with anything. It was like, should I just make an award to... Uh, to, uh, like, have you tell me what to tell you? Yeah, exactly. Field training obstacle course, okay. Investigate the training course, cool. That seems worthwhile. Where is the training course? Oh, okay. Cool. Well, we'll get to that. In the meantime, can I get back to this to heal myself? Healing is good. But I was gonna go to the Federal Bureau for power converters. Okay. Nerd alert! <laughs> well, this is news! <laughs> Some others. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Anyone down there? Alright, who else do we have now? I know we've got others around here. I can hear the scary music. No? Nobody? Come on, I know there's someone else out there. Where are you? Put your tuxedo mask top hat on me. You know, oh, hey, I thought about that. Hang on. I can, uh... Wait. Is there... Okay. Oh, there we go. Are you going to try and rocket me? Okay. Yes, uh, I did in fact uh, think about grabbing a top hat. treasure. So yeah, maybe I should go and do that. Dodge efficiency, and I can throw a vacuum cleaner at people. Or a very large fire extinguisher, I'm not sure which. Oh, okay. Oh. Cool. I guess I can go up here now. Okay, and do we have more guys rushing to kill me? Not yet, okay. There we go. Nope. Man, those are some nasty cardboard boxes. Blow up. 
let's go lift the lock down. Ha! Okay. Uh So I guess I can't really get into No. Okay. I guess I can climb over it with my own two hands, like some kind of peasant. I guess I could do that. Fine. Seriously, what's the point of having telekinetic powers if I can't even make myself fly? Where am I on the map here now? Okay. Peasants don't have top hats, it's true. <laughs> Black Rock Quarry. Any relationship to Black Mesa? Is that, uh... I mean, game reminder. Yep, there we go. Oh, hello? a punch will do. Okay. Ah, good.
This is what we came here to do. And now... Okay. We're in the control room. And how do I actually... Ah, there we go. How about that? That's cool. Okay, and now dudes That's are going to come at me, the huh? The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. Hmm. travel okay well let's uh yeah let's go to the central executive area What I need is a top hat that fits over the ears here. A lot of these questions could be answered by a body Yeah, I just need a switch hat. Jesse, Fair. you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Right after I grab this file. Okay. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. That seems like an odd but we found place help. to leave off. Off. Through oh. one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. They tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. 
I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. Oh. She led me to you. That's who that is. I call her Polaris. <laughs> Polaris. As in a guiding star. Or a space Did station. Polaris know about the hiss? A spa station. If she got you in here in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Hmm. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. <sighs> All right. What do we have as far as missions here now? Wait, what? Go to the NC energy converters and I have like 20 minutes to do it? Oh, shit. I hate timed missions. Ah, okay. Well, I guess let's uh, head over there then. They say the new director can launch objects up to 20... All right. We'll see. Timed missions. Ah. Okay. So energy converters, which is going to be this way then. Yes, that's 
Very unfortunate. All right, maybe not go in quite so guns blazing. I thought that was a normal enemy. That was clearly not. Wait, are these guys no longer here? Fine, then let's go for... Can I explain this game to you now that I've played more of it? Yes, so, Jesse, the protagonist that uh, we are controlling here, um, found her way into the Federal Bureau of Control, which is basically an agency tasked with investigating supernatural things. Uh, they were invaded by something that Jesse called the Hiss, uh, and so far that seems like a coincidence. They had locked the entire place down, but Jesse was able to get in, uh, thanks to the help of the thing in her head, Polaris, uh, which as you saw, uh, from the backstory just now, uh, was something that was with her since the incident in the town called Ordinary. Um, Jesse's looking for her brother Dylan, who the FBC uh, kidnapped after the incident in Ordinary. Um, and that's why uh, she and Polaris uh, came here in the first place. Um, Jesse found the director's office and found that the director had just shot himself with this gun that we're carrying. Um, but after she picked up the gun and uh, apparently became the new director, uh, she found that the old director, uh, Trench, uh, was basically putting uh, visions in her mind, uh, you know, um, whispering to her. Um, she also seems to be able to uh, traverse the astral plane now. Uh, and the Hiss is attacking all the building. They've taken over all the employees of the S FBC, except for the ones who are wearing these things on their chest, uh, Hedron Resonance Amplifiers, uh, which apparently protects them. So what we're trying to do is get to more information about our brother Dylan. And I guess also stop the Hiss. All right, so. Ah, uh, the question is, how do we get... How do we get over there? Huh. investigate the training course okay how do I get to the training course I think I go this way uh, and so we have various powers that we get by completing missions in the astral plane uh, one of which has given me the ability to pick things up telekinesis Yes, more health is definitely good. Let's do that. Oh, okay. These are, okay. Huh. Okay. Well, let's save this for something else. Astral constructs, what? Oh, I see. Oh, if I hadn't died, well, I probably still wouldn't have enough source, okay. So I can almost construct the next gun form, but 
Not quite. Astral blip, okay. Uh Pierce mode, charge mode, spin mode. What is the executive sector? Um, the game mechanic, uh, I mean, it's basically a shooter, but with some extra stuff added to it. Um, there we go. So, yeah, um, we have this weapon uh, that can take different forms. So it can take, you know, basic pistol, uh, shotgun. I think I can almost uh, upgrade to a submachine gun form. Uh, and you go around shooting guys, but you can also use your telekinesis power to um, pick things up. Like that. And launch them at people, which will help uh, with armor can also dash like that. Okay, now then. I actually want to go this way because I want to find the training grounds. Okay. There we go. And then I can pick things up and craft them, which will give me extra bonuses. So Ritual Impulse is one of... There are lots and lots of different raw material types in this. Uh, none of them make any sense. So, um, yeah, I can... So I've got Source here, which is kind of like a currency, and every time I die, I lose about 10% of it. Um, Asset. So I've got these materials, which I can use to improve things. Uh, let's see. I am still going. To, yeah. Okay. I'm going the right way here. All right. Let's see what's around here. Okay. No, nope, can't get through there. Okay. Okay. And then do I go down here? Is that what I do? Oh boy. Um. Oh. Uh, okay. Looks like I can go down here some other way from the map, based on the map, or not. Maybe not. Huh. Okay. Well. So this is the maintenance sector. I guess this will take me to other sectors. Right, okay. So how do I get to the field training room there? Because it seems like that has another object of power, which would be very, very handy. And then um, one of the things is that the hiss has uh, sort of changed the building. The, so uh, the whole thing with this building, it's called the um, 
the oldest house. Uh, it is one of these things that uh, changes constantly. It can basically, it's sort of extra dimensional and it, uh, it can add new rooms and stuff. So it's basically like, it's almost alive itself. And the hiss has changed the building, which is why uh, we can find these control points. Um, and basically take over yeah take over the um, the control points and okay maybe that's the way I go uh, then sort of put the building back to the way it was okay can I get from here to It pumps, right? Okay. Central maintenance. This looks like the right direction. Ah, here we go. they go okay that do it? No. Oh, damn it. Fine. Hate exploding enemies. <laughs> okay. Now we are trying to make our way to field training in here. Yes, there we are. Oh, hello. Dodge if it's a spin rate of fire boost. Okay. Well, once I get the spin, I will. Make sure to, actually, how much do I have now? Yes, I can actually build the spin, although I need to be at the control point to do it. Okay, the spin is, I believe, the submachine gun version of the weapon. Ah, and there we see some of the building that is. Apparently infected? Not exactly sure what those were. Thresholds. Oh, yes. What are thresholds? Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. All right, what do we have here? Field training. Yes. There we go. Now then. Just on principle. All right. Well, seems like having something explosive will be handy right here so, complete the so I, I just read this welcome to the ranger field training course the course must be completed in a specified amount of time when you're ready to start press the button is that all or I always did love obstacle courses oh boy okay well I guess we won't be able to use the fine okay Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. What? Oh, shoot, I see. Got it. Forty five seconds remaining. Is the other one? Thirty seconds remaining. No. Oh, there we go. No, you. Jesus. Okay. Ah, I watched that one. Fifteen seconds remaining. Okay. Alright, so I was not too far away from the end. I just need to Get be a little hastier. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Seconds remaining. Thirty seconds remaining. isn't usually part of the course. Okay. And do it's I have to itself. fight this thing now? Probably. Okay. I need to hit it harder to break that shield.
so the shield is directional, it appears. And I can jump with it. That's good to know. That's not shield. That's shield. Is there any indication of... Okay. Okay, how are we doing here? Do we have this back? Cool, okay, we've got that back. Let me know if, I, if you can still hear me and hopefully we can continue on with the game here. Oh. Okay, cool, thank you. Uh, OBS seems to be frozen here, but it seems like it's still transmitting and everything, so that's good. Cool. Okay. Can I use shield and pick things up? There's more guys? Oh, there's more guys. Okay, fine. Okay. Wonderful. Now I have a shield. That was absolutely worth it. Yeah, of course. Uh, 
love getting twofers. Ah. All right, that's it. That's it. Excellent. Collect all the treasure. control point. Excellent. Astral constructs. Weapon forms. Yes. Spin. Okay. Let's uh let's try this out now, shall we? Ooh. Oh, hello. Do I fire it then or select it? Uh, okay. Shield launch evade, crouch grand slam, grand slam, okay. And do I Okay. You know what? Let's uh change that there. Okay. Wait, I'm so confused how I use the second weapon slot here now. efficiency. Uh, let's also add some headshot damage, shall we? Yes. Okay. Uh... Okay, but seriously, how do we How do we switch weapons? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I have five ability points. Uh, yes. Bonus to shield strength, thank you. Oh, shield propels debris in nearby enemies. I do like that. Hey, Bacon! How are you? It's going well. I am definitely enjoying this game. Uh, yeah! 
having a lot of fun. And uh, I've just uh, reduced the prices of some of the channel things. So happy Toptober, right after September. Uh, and what was I going to do? Oh yeah, that's right. There were like missions I was supposed to do. Yeah, no, um, yeah, this is, this is a good game. Mmm, spooky season, that's right. I should, um, I should figure out some way to dress this place up a little bit for, for that. Let's see. Uh, oh, board countermeasures, okay. So... I'm using the executive sector with headshots. Find Marshall. Research sector. Okay. All right. Burn the trash around the furnace. What, uh. Dare I ask what that. Those are not NeoPixel sabers, they are uh, Ultra sabers actually. Uh, close though. Uh, actually. Oh, hey, you were talking about Polly the other night. Awesome. Yes. Something I love talking about. Uh, yeah, actually I should say, uh, four of those are Ultra Sabers. One is, uh, a lightsaber from Disneyland, from Galaxy's Edge, when you go through the saber building uh, thing which is pretty cool um, that was a that was a fun fun thing ah jealous yes how do those convert to ultra sabers um so they don't feel as good in my hand the hilt is heavy um, I would definitely go with ultra sabers for uh, anything that you wanted to do if you were doing like combat. Uh, one of them up there is my uh, show saber, so if I have to perform, because um, I've got uh, actually now two Star Wars uh, burlesque acts, um, so I'll use one of those. But the cool thing about the uh, Disney saber is that it will actually, like when you turn it on and off, it will, um, the lights will actually extend uh, one by one instead of all turning on at once and then retract, you know, one by one uh, swiftly. So it looks a little bit more like an actual saber going uh, up and down. Um, and you can mix and match with the hilt. So you can choose a bunch of different decorations. Uh, and to change the color of the blade, you actually have this tiny little crystal, which is really cool. It's got an RFID uh, thing in it that the saber reads. Uh, when you put it in there, and based on that RFID, um, it will uh, change the color of the blade. So you actually have to replace the kyber crystal inside if you want to change the color of the blade, which is neat. Uh, but also cool, the crystals themselves, because they have different RFIDs, you have different colors. So some are yellow, green, blue, whatever. Um, the crystals themselves are imbued with uh, the spirits of different characters. So you could have two blue crystals and one would be one character from Star Wars and another would be another character from Star Wars. And they sell these things, which are um, the Jedi cubes and the Sith uh, crystals, which you can also put those crystals in and they'll like recite things from the characters, give advice. It's, uh, it's really cool, uh, uh, stuff, uh, you know, kind of all tied together. Um, and if you buy a, uh, red crystal from the store in Galaxy's Edge, um, there's a one in something insane, like one in 20, one in 30, I forget, uh, chance that it will actually be a dark blade crystal. Um, so they're like, people will buy like 20 red crystals and, uh, you know, hope that they get one dark blade crystal. Uh, it's a, a really cool thing. <laughs> yeah. The galaxy's edge experience is totally, totally awesome. I love it so much. Um, it is, it is absolutely my favorite part of Disneyland and Saf and I were talking about this. Um, like I can just spend 
you know, Ages and Galaxy's Edge, because they have this augmented reality game they play on your cell phone, too, where you can go around to different parts of the scenery in the actual park and, like, hack terminals and uh, t change them for your team. Uh, there are different missions, so there are, like, uh, things that you scan all over the place that will give you, like, extra resources and stuff. Like, it's, it's such a cool augmented reality game. Uh, yeah, exactly, Seth. Like, I, that game is worth going to uh, De Galaxy's Edge alone. Just the whole area is really cool uh, in itself. Um, easily my favorite part of the entire uh, Disneyland park. Um, and I, yeah, Seth, we have to go to Disney World so we can uh, check out the larger version All right, what was I doing? But yeah, 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 yeah. So the sabers are super awesome. Yeah, the cast members in Galaxy's Edge are amazing. Uh, yes, yes, Seth, I know you are the queen of Walt Disney World. Uh, so yes, absolutely, please show me everything. Disney bounding in Galaxy's Edge. Oh, I bet. I fucking bet. I don't have Pierce mode. Oh. Oh, okay. Accept. Okay. Kill enemies without dying. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Those are the only ones I have. <laughs> Cut it. Kill enemies in the executive sector. Wait. Hang on. How many do I need to kill? Uh, 10 with headshots. And 25 in the executive sector. Okay. Uh, research, parapsychology. Okay. And now... Fast travel... Let's see, my favorite thing to do in Disney theme parks is to get into the spontaneous in-character interactions and at Galaxy's Edge, they are so into it. Yes, I know, they are, oh, so good. So damn good. Oh God, do I wanna to go to the, okay, let's, let's try this. Yes, we, you are right, Saf. We have to go to the new Star Wars LARP hotel that opens into Epcot. Uh, Hey, thanks for the host, uh, Bacon. I appreciate it. Um, oh, crap. Actually, I just realized. Uh, so OBS is apparently still uh, still broadcasting, but... Uh, it has locked up on my side here. Okay. All right. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Oh. I see. I see. I see what we're doing here. It's an escort quest. Got it.
Come on. Give me that sweet, sweet grenade there. Yes! There we go. Thank you. Okay. That was a lot of stuff. Damn. Okay. Oh, OBS updated yesterday and broke everything for everyone. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, sorry, catching up in the chat now that I'm not, like, trying to kill dudes here. Uh... Let's see... Alright, hey, thanks for lurking, uh, Bacon. Uh... Final Fantasy XIV, nice. Uh... <laughs> I love talking about poly to kyber crystals. Hey, come on! I mean... <laughs> there's a... High degree of crossover there. Oh uh, no, I think it's B. Um, I think there is something about this here which, um, something about the interaction, with the game here, that. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Alright. And you... Oh. Disappointing, I missed. Okay. Well, let's, uh... You're stream popping... Kyber crystals? What? Spell kyber crystals? Uh, no, just that, um, they're, like, Polly has a lot of nerds, and Star Wars is a pretty common, uh, nerd thing, so, uh, I don't think it's at all surprising that... How? There we go. At all surprising that, uh, people might have... Uh, a lot of crossover. Ha! Okay. That's fine. I'll just keep hitting you in the head. That's... That's cool. I can do that. Okay. So I just need four more dudes with headshots in this sector. Sounds good. <laughs> yes, proud to be a himbo. Alright, come on. Just need a few more dudes. Where can I find more dudes to shoot here? Ooh, maybe in dead letters. Ha! <laughs> Ta-da! Exactly. Exactly. Alright, hello cafeteria. Ha 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 ha! 
Well, I'm glad I'm a pretty himbo. It would be awkward if it wasn't, if I weren't, right? Okay, so I made it to dead letters. And apparently missed a treasure thing. House memory always good. Yes. Watch me bench saffs. All right. But seriously, though, where are some dudes? Communications department, fine, good. Big fan of communications. Pneumatics. Also no one here. Right, okay. Cool. I think I've been there before. Now, uh... This is slightly annoying. Let's get our fast travel to here. Central executive. Uh, I mean, progress six out of ten. I need four more there. So those I can get anywhere. I need eight more here. Find Marshall. Marshall's in the research sector. need to wait until more dudes spawn here? Is that what it is? Ah, oh, hey! Hey, how about that? Okay. Cool. Ow. doing actually taking cover like you know, smart enemies cool okay Oh. Oh, okay. 
Okay. That, uh, that was pretty good. Lots of health lying around here. Okay. And now I can get the heck out of here. Uh, let's see. Missions. Okay. Go to Central Executive to collect your reward. Okay. Got it. Well then, let's go to Central Executive. assume that I have to talk to Emily or something? They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. Never need something. Hi, Jesse. No. Okay. See you soon. Be careful out there. Do I, uh... They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Bullshit. Ah, there we go. Collect reward, collect reward, collect reward. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well. Shit. You okay. never recorded any distance over five. Obviously, you never read the P6 data. All right, let's go back to the control room so that we can go to the research area. there. And here we go. Research. Oh, 
Maybe slightly uncalled for. Welcome to the Research Center of the Federal Bureau of Control. I'm Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I, I've been here for 24 <laughs> years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Yes, sure, <laughs> we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Kinda like this guy. Research sector, huh? Guy. Home of the Bureau's mad scientists. Okay, well, the attack in three, two, one. Yep, knew it. Oh, oh, we did not just do that. something at me? I knew it! Oh, ow. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's do something about that. Oh, ow. Okay. That was, um... That wasn't good. Do I have to kill these guys all over again? Probably, huh? Yeah, okay.
There we go. Alright. Got some other guys here. Sniper rifles? Is that what's going on? I think they do. There's a sniper. Okay. Well then. Let's uh let's not let ourselves get sniped.
Okay, and I guess we are definitely not going that way. Huh. Energy recovery. Yeah, that doesn't seem friendly. Do we have a control point here? Anywhere? That looks like it might be one. No. That is indeed research. Okay. Okay, Dr. Darling's office. Well, seems like that is not the way for me to go. Oh. Okay. I've been fielding questions recently regarding HRAs. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? And what's the deal with the headroom resonance anyway? I... Fuck. Despite what you may have heard, HRAs are not monitoring devices. We're not tracking your movements. We're listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. Ah, Pokemon Unite. Do that regardless whether or not you're wearing an HRA. <laughs> uh, Think of them as I a, don't actually know much about Pokemon Unite. What, a, what's the deal with that? Life preserver. Only instead of water, the, the thing HRAs protect you from is um, classified. One day that classified, not water, might pour in and... Oh, I got, see. Got an HRA keeping you afloat. And if you don't have an HRA, don't worry. It'll be uh, quick and painless. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. We're making more. Yeah. Kidding about it being quick and painless? Yeah, so Pokemon Unite is... Uh, another just like Pokemon adventure game, or is it similar to Snap, or like what's what is? High tactics people like it, but it has microtransaction concerns. Oh, ho ho ho! Microtransactions. I see. Say no more. Um. Okay, so it's a Pokemon Tactics game, basically, is what I'm hearing. The 
professional research. No, definitely not. Multiplayer team melee game. Okay. That does sound intriguing. But I can see even more how microtransactions would ruin that. I'm kind of curious if I can just jump down there from here. You know what? Hell with it. I'm... Nah, mm. And yet people really like it. Okay. Well, good. Good for them. Whoa! Okay. Maybe that was the... Maybe I should have opted for the stairs instead, huh? Especially if I can't really... Oh. You know what? Enormous tree here. There we go. Okay. Well, uh, I want to go that way, huh? Shit, okay. Oh, okay, I see. These things are basically locking that in place. I get it. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. Uh, okay. Okay. This is kind of a long way to go without a control point in this entire sector. So far. I mean, I'm just kind of saying here. a bad headshot right there. Oh, 
Hey, fire extinguisher. Cool. Get over here. You. Okay. Again, not a bad headshot. And help. Awesome. Ha. Ah. And yeah, sorry, Saf, I don't think I, I uh, replied, but yeah, you're right, you do need a really good game for microtransactions to work. Um, and, you know, Pokemon certainly has its following, right? Um, like, there are people who will be more disposed to pay for a game just because it's, uh, or, you know, do microtransactions in a game just because it is Pokemon. What you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the Astro Plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. Huh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and claim this control point. Now, having done so, ooh, ah, more weapon forms. Okay, construct pierce. Ah, yes, yes, I can finally get my sniper rifle. Ah, I just need a little bit more. Ah, his rangers in the research sector using abilities. Okay, yes, absolutely. Uh, and what, in fact, I do not have charge mode yet. No, oh. I may be uh, starting to near the end of my inventory there. Okay, well, let's see what we have. NJ recovery, 24, 15. Okay, goodbye, 15. Uh, minus 10, minus 9, minus 7. Minus 7. All right, we've got a bunch of these guys. Minus 7, 12, 9, Seven, eight. Okay. Twenty four, nineteen, seventeen.
Shield efficiency, nice. Okay. And cool. There we go. hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that it has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fuse, astral hitched, knot. a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Oh, boy. That seems like a... Uh... Uh, Chekhov's construct. All right. You don't think that thing is going to uh, be? Oh. I can't believe they keep that thing here. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, those were the things that I saw on the astral plane. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. That is... Is that part of the pyramid? Shit. this thing? Uh, okay. thing going to chase me to the... Uh, okay. 
Uh, no, thank you. Oh, dear. That's very not good. Okay. Let's see if we can go get healed at a control point here. Yeah, in a free-to-play, you're right, you have to have a good game. Okay, what? Why? Why can I not move forward? Okay, that is supremely annoying. Come on, let's uh. Let's go back and heal again, figure out what we're supposed to do. Alright, so I need to get through this place to... Where? To there, okay. I think what I need to do is trap that thing. Hey there, ugly. Almost. Almost. I wonder if shield will help. This is 
really tough. Come on! No! Yes! Yes! Ah! There we go. I don't have to trap that thing again. All right, with that, I'm going to take a short break, get myself some food, uh, drink, and we will be right back.
back. And let's try this again. And for the love of God, don't open that thing. Okay. That's not a good start. I thought I caught that rocket. Damn it. All right. Well, can we uh, go back up here and heal? Possibly. And I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do that again. But gosh, wouldn't it be nice if there was a healing psychic power? Jesus, this isn't creepy at all. Chairs with wire help. Okay.
Um. All right. Ah, there we go. I knew there had to be something. That's it. Give me another grenade. Clench that point, huh? Are there more guys? Let's... Oh, there are more guys, okay. that works.
Okay, but I still can't. How is this thing? Oh no, Saf, you've made a terrible mistake. What did you do? Was the terrible mistake starting Pokemon Unite? You ate a crystal of litter thinking it was popcorn? Oh no. Oh shit, that- oh. Oh, sweetie, that's- oh no. That's, uh, that's not good. Uh, I don't think that's going to hurt you too much if it was just one crystal, but, um... How do you, how do you feel? <laughs> well, okay, I can take a page from your book and just say, "Oh, oh, buddy." <laughs> okay. All right, so it wasn't the actual ammonia. That's good. supposed to do here? Like, seriously. Yeah, icky sand, definitely. Oh, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you say that a lot. <laughs> Okay, well... Oh, hello. I do. Yes, I absolutely do. Okay. Yeah, ser seriously, what? What am I supposed to do here? There's a control point there, which I can't seem to exert control over.
Ha. I say things too. God, you sound like Bart. That's something Bart would say. See, you say things too. Okay, but seriously, what? What's the next step here? I don't get it. <laughs> Do I know Ken? <laughs> yes. Exactly. Let's not go there, but... Where am I supposed to go? There's... There's something I'm missing somewhere. I wish I could figure out what it was. I'm almost at the point where I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to look it up in a guide. Because... Because, yeah. I don't, uh... Astral blips. Hotline? Oh, okay. Searching records. His sniper, okay.
astral plane. Resonance theory, synchronicity, uh, Carl Jung, threshold utility. Okay. Nothing actually useful for figuring out what I'm supposed to do here. Shooting it, not gonna work. Pretty clearly. Okay, getting up here was fun and cool, but Through there. Right, can't get to the elevator. So I need to. So, okay, right, that control point is something I need to seize. Okay.